some round things around the house, maybe a bowl, a lid. They can be a variety of sizes. You can draw just one circle or multiples. Next, you'll need a strip of paper to use as a straight edge or a ruler. You'll take your straight edge and line it up with the edge of the paper and draw a line underneath of it, making sure to pick up your pencil every time you run into a circle. Line up your ruler with the line that you just drew and then draw a line underneath of it until you fill the whole paper with horizontal lines. As you're drawing your line, pick up your pencil every time you run into a circle. You don't want the straight lines to go through it. We'll draw curved lines inside to give the illusion that the circles are bulging out of the page. When you're done, turn your ruler and draw lines going the opposite direction. Remember to be really careful when you're lining up that ruler so every space is the exact same size, using the width of your ruler to help you measure. Now comes the optical illusion piece. We're going to be continuing the grid but creating bends in each line from one point to the next. Press really softly just in case you mess up. On the left side of the circle, we'll be bending our lines to the left so it curves the same direction as the left side. And then as we get to the second half of the circle, start to curve your lines to the right. Watch as I do that here. I didn't have a center point in my circle because of where I placed it on my grid, but if you do, you can make the line in the very center straight. Do the same thing with any additional circles you might have, and then rotate your paper and follow these same steps going in the opposite direction. It might help to draw an imaginary line down the middle of your circle and bend the lines on the left side towards the left and the lines on the right side towards the right. You're going to use two colors. You can use markers like me or colored pencils, crayons, whatever you have, and you will alternate your color pattern like a checkerboard going every other one. When you get to a new row, start with the opposite color that you started with before. As you're continuing through the circles to create those illusions, just imagine that that checkerboard pattern continues, but maybe a magnifying glass was placed right on top. So, if you notice as I'm coloring this purple shape here, it's no longer a square shape, but that whole thing becomes purple, if that makes sense. So really try hard to keep visualizing that checkerboard pattern completely, even though it has the illusion that the lines are curved and popping out at us. Finally, we're going to use a black colored pencil or a black crayon to lightly emphasize the outside of each shape. I'm pressing a little bit harder right next to the circle and then as I move away from it, picking up my colored pencil so it's lighter. This will give the illusion that it's even more three-dimensional. I can't wait to see your artwork and don't forget to share it with us in our Padlet this week.